We have the Italian sports brand La Sportiva back on the channel today, and they are back with an exciting new trail running shoe that's been designed specifically for the ultra trail world, and it is the Prodigio. Now these are packed full of exciting new technology, including X-Flow foam, a high energy returning foam in that midsole construction. And we've got this wrapping system construction in the upper, and that's gonna give you a nice secure lockdown around your midfoot. I actually tried them on indoors just to check the sizing and they feel great on my feet. So let's dive into the video and take the Prodigio out for its first run. Welcome back folks. Thanks for joining us for another first impressions video here at the channel. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. So at the start of the year, we said that we wanted 2024 to be our biggest year to date when it comes to testing out and reviewing new running shoes. Today's video featuring the La Sportiva trail shoe is actually gonna be our 12th first impressions video of the year already. So we've definitely got off to a good start, but there is plenty more running shoe reviews heading your way over the coming months. So we've got a brand new trail running shoe model from La Sportiva, which doesn't actually happen very often. So it's always exciting when it does. So let's dive in, give you a bit of information about the specs, and we're gonna break down this new construction in a bit more detail. So first up, we have gotta talk about price, and I've actually found it online here in the UK for several different prices, starting from the very affordable £112.50 up to £137. Uh, Weight-wise, my pair, weighs in at 295 grams in a UK 10 and they run off a 6 mil heel offset. So we've got a stack height of 34 mil at the heel, 28 mil under your forefoot. So you can see you get a pretty good helping of the soft stuff in the midsole. Up top, we've got this lightweight HT knit anti-abrasion mesh upper, which is actually made from recycled fabric. It's been designed to be fast drying and highly breathable to prevent your feet from overheating. Uh, we've got an internally gusseted tongue, which is quite thin in design, but the Sportiva have worked in this sort of central zone of padding down the middle of that tongue, just to protect your feet when you uh, pull those laces down nice and tight. We've also got an internal midfoot band worked into that construction, and this this forms part of the Sportiva's wrapping system that should give us a nice secure lockdown. And speaking of lockdown, when I tried these on indoors, they do feel comfortable and it does feel very secure and very precise wrapped around my foot. There's a moderate level of padding around the ankle collar and in the heel, and we do have a good level of structure from a substantial heel cup. However, that is quite deep and it is quite stiff, so it's gonna be interesting to see how that feels today, and hopefully it won't cause any problems out on the run. We got overlays starting at the heel, running along the midfoot, the lace eyelets, and then finishing up wrapping around that toe box, just for a bit of extra upper durability. However, the front of the shoe is quite soft, so unfortunately, we don't get the addition of a toe bumper. Moving down to the midsole setup, and this is where I get all excited about the Prodigio because it uses La Sportiva's X-Flow midsole construction, and that utilizes their supercritical, high energy returning nitrogen infused foam to give you an increased level of comfort and dampening. We've also got their progressive rocker geometry worked into that midsole, and we've got quite a wide platform Platform. So they should feel nice and stable and efficient out on the trails. And then housed inside that foam, we've also got their rock plate there. So that's gonna give us an added level of protection when we're running on technical rocky trails. Flipping the shoes over to reveal a dual compound friction red outsole. So we've actually got two different types of rubber here. So we've got this nice sticky black rubber on the forefoot to provide good levels of grip. And then we've got this slightly firmer red rubber compound on the heel for high levels of durability. That is all finished off with La Sportiva's Lapso 4mm lug pattern, uh, just to give you that optimum balance between grip and traction. So there it is folks, the rather good looking Prodigio trail running shoe from La Sportiva. Uh, I also forgot to mention they're vegan friendly and the upper mesh, the upper lining, the laces and that ergonomic footbed are all made using recycled materials, which is always a good thing to hear. However, I think that's enough tech talk and now it's time for the fun part of the video. So we're gonna get these laced up on our feet, we're gonna grab the cameras and we're gonna be bringing you guys along on the shoe's first run. So let's 
get out there and let's hit the trails. Okay, so typically it was lovely and sunny all morning. I had a bit of editing to do, so I had to get in front of the laptop to catch up. Couldn't get out until afternoon. As Soon as I stepped out the door, it started raining. So it is making filming very difficult. So the good news is we ticked off six miles already. So yesterday, Saturday, I managed to get a good 10 and a half miles in on the road. And today we're gonna to try and get to 13 miles, heading out across the towns, and we're gonna to go to Godreevy Lighthouse. So just building up that back-to-back -back mileage again at the weekend for obviously races that are coming. So we got the KVK in Cornwall very soon, and then we're gonna be heading up to Scotland for the Ultra X 110 Scotland. As far as the shoe goes, let's talk about comfort of the upper and fit first. So I always tend to go up half a size in La Sportiva shoes. They do tend to size up quite small. The 10 is fitting perfectly on length. And we've got that wrap sort of system in the construction, that upper, and I feel super locked into the midfoot, really well held, really well secure in the shoe. And I did have my doubts about the ankle collar and the heel cut being quite deep, but it feels really comfortable. And again, really well held in the heel. So a really good start to the run. You know, that upper feels really Really comfortable and the fit seems to be working well for my foot shape but let's crack on let's get these miles done so look who I bumped into out in the town hello how are you doing yeah good run going well yeah much better than all the other runs yeah yeah so you can see how different we are as runners I've got a <laughs> a long sleeve top on and a short sleeve t-shirt over top. A league is running a vest and short shorts. She does run warm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's nice to bump into you. Yeah, you do. Don't let me disturb you though, you know, I don't wanna don't wanna stop you from running. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> See you at home. Well that was nice bumping into Liga, had a little chat for a mile or so. She's heading back now. I've got a few miles more to go out and then we'll be turning and heading for home as well. Made it to the trigger point, that's just over eight miles done. Time to head home. Okay, so we have just ticked over 11 miles in the run and the weather continues to deteriorate. It's pretty miserable and pretty gloomy now, but apart from the bad weather, the first run in the Prodigio is going really well. So the last Le Sportiva shoe to appear on the channel was the Jackal 2 and I actually really enjoyed that shoe. It performed pretty well over the miles that we ran in it, but I would say these are outperforming it on every level and I have in the past maybe struggled a bit with the Sportiva shoes shoes like the Akasha the Mutant just feeling a bit firm and a bit stiff in the midsole whereas these feel nicely cushioned there's a good deal of flex of the midfoot and that rocker in the midsole feels nice and efficient so we've got a couple of miles to run and with the weather getting worse, it's getting harder and harder to film. So we're gonna stop filming there. We're gonna get back to the studio and then we can wrap up this video with a quick conclusion. We'll see you guys there. 
So that is a bit better. I've had a nice warm shower and I feel a bit more thawed out now. It got pretty bleak towards the end of the run and I did feel quite cold, but I still managed to clock up 13.5 miles. So that's a real solid back-to-back -back weekend of 24 miles in the training bank. Happy to say I've got a sports massage book tomorrow because I definitely feel like my legs need it, especially after running Falmouth Half Marathon the other week. My legs did take a bit of a pounding over that distance back on the hard stuff. I didn't realise that the word prodigio is actually Italian for prodigy. Now, if you look up the word prodigy in the dictionary, it says that it is an outstanding example of a particular quality. So that is a pretty bold name for a running shoe. So I suppose the question is, is did the new trail shoe from La Sportiva live up to its name? Well, the first thing I've got to say is they really did give me that initial sort of feeling that I want from a new running shoe. You take them out of the box, you put them on your feet, you lace them up and there's no irritation, there's no rubbing and it just feels right straight away. And that doesn't always happen with new running shoes. I'm sure a lot of you guys will know that, but it really doesn't happen all the time. And when it does, it's normally a good thing because it means that they're gonna run well. And I really did get that feel with these today. So 13.5 damp miles out on the trails and no irritation no rubbing, no hot spots or anything like that. Just a really nicely fitting, secure midfoot, no lift or movement in the heel, and for my foot shape, a really good width and volume in the toe box. This lacing system in the upper seemed to lock down really well and stayed locked down throughout the run, so no sort of having to stop, pull over and adjust and retie those laces mid-run, which is always a good thing. The only thing I will say is the laces are quite short in length, so uh, I didn't have an issue with it. It still allowed me to tie that shoe down well and double knot them, but I would say if you did have a bit of depth to your midfoot, then you might struggle a bit with the length of the laces. But all in all, this upper performed extremely well for my foot shape, and I've got no complaints at all. So let's move down to this new X-Flow midsole construction, and we had a big mix of terrain out there today. Uh, so a bit of tarmac to soak up before we got to the towers, and then once we're on the trails, we had some sandy paths. We also got some gravelly trails, some rocky stony trails. We had some soft sand, and we even got some sort of muddy grass and like I said this X-Flow foam coped with everything perfectly well and it seemed to give me that sort of really good balance between comfort and connection. The rock plate worked into this midsole seemed to offer me a good level of underfoot protection when I was running on the rockier trails but it didn't make the midfoot of the shoe overly stiff so we've still got a, a bit of flex there in the shoe. I wouldn't say it's as flexible as say the Trailfly from Innovate that we tested a few weeks ago, but it's definitely not as stiff as some of the other models within the La Sportiva trail running shoe lineup. And then we've got this nice rocket geometry, seemed to make the Prodigio feel very efficient and it gave me good forward momentum when I was running on the flats. So a very comfortable experience all round, but I wouldn't call them a deeply cushioned trail shoe. I actually think they feel very similar underfoot cushioning wise to Merrell's Agility Peak 5. So if you follow the channel, you'll know that's a positive thing because I've run hundreds of miles in that shoe and I really get on with them. So comfort levels were good, but there's not too much going on in the midsole that you lose lots of sort of ground feel. So the Prodigio felt nice and stable and connected to the trails. And finishing up with the all important outsole, and I've always been a big fan of La Sportiva's rubber compound. And I would say it's on par with the brilliant Vibra Mega Grip when you're running on rocky or wet rocky trails. So really good levels of grip on all surfaces today. And because the weather was very miserable, uh, it was a bit greasy at times underfoot and uh, no real deep boggy mud to sort of run through but there was one point where I had to run up and run down a, a muddy grassy hill and these four mil lugs actually cope with it a lot better than I thought they would and they gave me good levels of traction so wrapping up with a quick conclusion and I think these performed extremely well out there on their first run now over the years having run in several of Sportiva trail shoes before I thought I was going to pop them on go run it and they're going to feel very much like a La Sportiva shoe but I think these actually offer you something a bit different when you compare them to the rest of their shoes in their trail running lineup when it comes to midsole comfort and performance especially if you're running long distances and I can see myself spending a lot of time in these over the next couple of months 
Speaking of running a long way, there could be a much bigger challenge coming with the Prodigio on the channel soon. So watch this space. Right, that brings today's video to a close. Really hope you enjoyed it. Really hope you found it helpful. Don't forget guys, if you are enjoying the content that we're producing here at the channel, but you're yet to subscribe, maybe today is the day. Couldn't be any easier to do just by clicking on the little red box down there in the corner. But even better than that, it is completely free. So it's not gonna cost you a penny, but it is a big help to the channel. While you're there, don't forget to hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when we upload any new exciting running content. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. We'll be back here very, very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. Which is actually made from recycled material. It's bizarre. It's been. It's. It's designed. <laughs> Trying these on inside, this upper did feel comfortable, and it also felt very surprise. Set very surprise. <laughs> Especially after running the Falmouth Half Marathon the other week, my legs did get a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah,